Today, we're going to look at this, the Walton Craft Pilot 10 liter shoulder bag. Now, this is the upgraded version for 2024. Hi, it's Jimmy Chang here from Red35 and welcome back once again to my Tech Tuesday and 2 Minutes Review. I'll try, but I guess I'm going to fail at this 2 minutes once again because, spoiler alert, I really dig this bag. But before I start the review, let me remind you that, first of all, I'm a shoulder bag guy. So I always have a tendency to love shoulder bag configurations than any other carrying solution that I have in the past. In fact, I have loads of bags, as you may know, that I'm a big, 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 giant Billingham fan. And uh, But I also reviewed the PGY Tech Sling Bag just a couple of weeks ago, which I also recommend because, you know, objectively speaking, it's a very good bag. It's very tiny. So if you like that style, if you like minimalistic setup, going up for a small camera of a couple of prime lenses, uh, that is a perfect solution. And this is a much larger bag, as you can see, this is a 10 liter, which is kind of more in line with what I usually carry on a daily basis. Um, I use my Billingham Eventer, in a, which is kind of like a large, even larger bag than this one, uh, which is carry all my photographic gears, which is basically what you're seeing on the table here. And I can tell you a little bit more about that in the review later. Uh, but Overall, I think the uh, the the shoulder back configuration is e really kind of my preference for easy access. Um, I know people may argue that you know backpack is still the best solution because you know you're evening out the load on both of the shoulders, uh, so it's more comfortable, and that is very very true. But for me. You know, I'm a working photographer. I need to access my gear really, really quickly. Um, so shoulder bag is always my preference. So I have a lot to say about shoulder bags, but let's talk a little bit about the um, uh, the the bag itself. And I'm going to give you my personal opinion based on what Walton Craft has created for the pilot bag here compared to my usual Billingham work bag. So Walton Craft has been around for a few years, designing all sorts of nice looking bag for photographers and videographers out there in the past few years, from the luxurious faux leather bags to the hybrid mix of leather and canvases to something like this, a faux canvas version, which I always like because it's quite a bit lighter than a faux leather version. Right, in terms of construction, this is fantastic. One of the best. And I don't take it lightly because, well, considering a guy like me who have a dozen of Billingham bags, who have some other really interesting and expensive high-end camera carrying solutions. This is pretty, pretty awesome. Right up there in terms of build quality. All the stitching is perfect, all straight. I can't see any faults anywhere. The use of materials is also very good as well. It's got this Dawnproof YKK zip and the, the camera strap in particular, I really like. Uh, the 360 rotating end is Definitely, I quite quite enjoy using because uh, quite a lot of the time when I'm out and about, when just quickly pick up the bag and the camera strap kind of twist it around, you kind of have to kind of twist it and things like that. You don't have to do this. Just slap it on your body and just twist the end and you're done. Finished. This is quick. I like that. And also, obviously, you know, um, the, this is detachable as well. So if you don't like the strap, you can take the strap off completely and just use it as a... Uh, yeah, carrying bag. It does have a handle here. Uh, so yeah, it, it's really, really good here. And another uh, few features that I really enjoy is, first of all, is the magnetic opening, which is kind of cool. So unlike normal opening that you see in the past, uh, in Bing and Bath, for instance, having a brass uh, uh, button there, uh, uh, you can just basically use a leather strap to hook onto it. Uh, I like that solution, which is kind of cool and classic, but this is definitely modern. And they're using magnetic, it's very good very secure and I, I just love it. And the other thing that I really like that I haven't quite mentioned just yet is the shoulder pad. This shoulder pad is, a, oh my God, this is definitely one of the best shoulder pads here. It's very squidgy, very soft. You know, I just like it. It's almost like marshmallow kind of softness to it. I like it. It distributes the load very good, very evenly. But the best feature is, is this rubber. It's this rubber layer. It's this so sticky. I like it. I like it sticky. It, whether it's wet, whether it's dry, doesn't matter. Whether whatever material you use on your on your shoulder, it's good. It just sticks to it. It doesn't slide around, which a lot of bags do. The PGY Tech one that I reviewed two weeks ago does. The Billingham bag shoulder bag, the uh, shoulder pads does the same thing. It just slides around. This is the first time I've used a camera shoulder bag that doesn't slide around. Oh my god, this is definitely. 
I would rate this the highest so far in terms of uh, <laughs> the shoulder uh, pads here. This is this is definitely good. Uh, other than that, all the uh, uh, elastic pockets on the side are very well constructed, feels very strong. Um, the line on uh, canvas that they use here, they use Cordura 500, which is a very strong material that I somehow also have a couple of uh, garments and shoes that made with Cordura uh, line on material. I know they're tough because I've been using them for hiking, from, from just walking around, and that uh, they can withstand a lot of abuses. And that means that this bag can do the same. Not only that though, it also applies some sort of water repellency coating on both sides of the bag to make sure that uh, this bag will keep your gear dry. Uh, this is something that they told me that it uh, used no problem is almost as good as waterproof, right? This bag doesn't come with a uh, raincoat, so it's, it, it is what it is, it's like this. A bit like Billingham. Billingham doesn't need a raincoat because it is 100% waterproof is how they constructed the bag. And uh, so this one here, they don't use the same construction, um, but they apply coatings on both sides. So I will have to take their words for it, but I will report back uh, once I have a chance to test it in a heavy rain situation, then I'll let you know whether you know my gear uh, are still dry. <laughs> but at the same time, I did use uh, the, this bag in a couple of wet days, but not downpour, just light drizzles. But I can see that water droplets were kind of forming on top of the surfaces here, and they just slides off and dry up after a, you know, a few minutes. So from that end, definitely no problem walking around in light rain situations. Uh, but I will, like I said, test it on the heavy rain. And I'm guaranteed that this is England. We will have that heavy rain at some point. And uh, when I use the bag outside, I'll let you know whether it is 100% waterproof or not. As it stands, in terms of construction, this is definitely one of the best I've seen. Now, let's talk a little bit about capacity. 10 liter, this bag is. And Walton Craft also created other smaller versions of it. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can check them all out to make sure that uh, you like those sizes instead of the bigger one here. But for me, for the purpose of this review, I told them that I want a bag that I can use it for work simply because that I can take it out, actually use it to tell you all about it after a couple of weeks, which I have with this particular bag here. Um, I've, all my pro jobs, uh, I have uh, really, you know, heartbreakingly put down my Billingham, which is kind of my beloved bag there. You may have been used it for years to use this one instead. And I found it, I love it. And uh, yeah, this is a very, you know, high praise for me, you know, judging from a guy who are so used to using a traditional camera bag to something slightly more modern here. Um, the, yeah, a 10 liter bag is a perfect size for, as you can see, all the stuff on the table right here. I have three different systems on the table, one inside the bag here. So first of all, this bag does hold all your Michael Forth that needs. No problem. Absolutely no problem. You can see that this is the OM uh, one here. I have the 40 to 150 QA. I have a couple of primes in the back as well. So like, you know, it's no problem. You can fit quite a lot in this guy here. You can even fit the 300 F4 Pro, you know, even though it's slightly longer, but you can see that just on the side, uh, just on the size comparison here, you can see if I vertically put this 40 to 150 in front of the back, you can see how much more space on the top. That means you can put longer lenses if you need to. Um, uh, but this is perfectly fine here. Um, on the full frame side, I have the Nikon ZF and I have the 70 to 180 28, which is kind of like a mini zoom. And I have a couple of primes as well, uh, usually. So this one here is the new 20 millimeter 2.8. I also have the 51.8 and also the 28.18 as well, together with the lens already attached to the camera, which is the 40 F2. So you can hold all this stuff in this bag again, still with a lot of rooms to spare. Then inside the bag, which is my third system, which I'm currently testing. And this is another retro camera. If you want to stay uh, look at the review, uh, you know, remember to stay tuned. And this is the Fujifilm X-T5. I have three lenses in here. I have the 33 attached, which goes straight into the camera. with still a lot of room to the left on the, on the top section here. I also have the 56.12 and also the 23 1.4 as well. So all in here is still got room for perhaps for another three lenses. <laughs> so this is a roomy bag. Let's put it that way. This is a very roomy bag for you to put some other accessories like speed lights, uh, LED lights, like, like something like the M20C that I just reviewed. It will hold in this bag perfectly fine. There's no problem at all. And uh, I have, like I said, I've used this for the past few weeks now in pro jobs, and it holds everything that I need, which is okay. This is good. Uh, pockets. Absolutely everywhere. There's one pocket at the back here, which has got this dome proof zip to make sure that things can be protected from rain. 
and they also have another zip in the, uh, in inside here. Uh, it's not waterproof zip because it's been covered by the top, and uh, so just normal zip pocket here. It's got a couple of dividers so you can put other things in there, and uh, a hidden pocket. Yes, a hidden pocket just right on the side, underneath this kind of flap here, and it's really good. It's really big. If I unzip it, put my hand in. It goes all the way in. <laughs> Look at how deep this thing is. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I, I like it. I like a deep back uh, pocket like this. So you can put something like a passport, you know, or cash, something like that. You know, just stuff it right at the end there without having to worry too much about it because it's kind of hidden away. Um, there are also a couple of elastic pocket on the side. Whatever you want to put in, water bottles or other stuff that you don't care too much about if you want quick access to, uh, something like a battery, something like that. That's really good for that. And finally, you can see there are a lot of straps around this bag here, uh, which is, again, I find it quite useful. Well, first of all, it's a luggage strap at the back here. So you know what this does, you know, for you to put the luggage thing here. You can kind of roll around the airport. And the top here, first of all, this may look more like an aesthetic thing, but I find it quite useful especially in winter time. You know, I find that uh, I have a scarf. Sometimes when I'm walking, I get a bit hot. I can put down my scarf and just kind of roll it and just put on top of here. And it fits. It's actually really good. I like that kind of thing. And it's not adjustable though. So like just, it's only so much you can hold it, but you can hold something if you really want to. So it's not just for look. And uh, at the bottom, there's also a couple of strap here and uh, which you can uh, put a tripod and once again, this is not the option that I tend to go to because I don't like holding something underneath the back because you can't put the back down straight and then uh, and I don't like that at all. But if you do, that's another option here that you can do things with. And finally, there are a lot of webbings. Nice webbings. I like these webbings here because you can extend or expand the back with the optional pouches. Uh, I have a couple of here which I've been using actually. Uh, I took it out just because I want to show you the bag properly. So you can actually attach them here, which make it even more versatile. Um, you have, uh, you know, this one here, this is the post string pouch. You can put lenses in it if you really want to, or compact camera. So another camera you can pull. Um, this one is a zip bag and uh, you can use it for anything else really. And uh, other little gadgets like power banks and things like that. They're, it's a little bit padded, which is actually quite nice. Um, the, so. It is a lot of stuff. You know, you have to go through the website to see all the options out there because you really can configure this back to your liking, which is something I haven't seen before. Really, I haven't seen something that is as configurable as something like a Walton Craft Pilot bag. And uh, Billingham is, it is what it is. You buy the bag and that's the bag. You can buy individual dividers to make it slightly more configurable inside. But you can attach the AVA uh, pockets on the side. But yeah, something like this, it just, totally different you know you can do a lot with these things and when you buy these little pouches it can, you can also use it as an individual bag to sell so you not have to just use it for the camera bag just for extra expansion you can use them individually <laughs> that's kind of cool and uh, also um the walton craft also sent me a lot of these velcro things that you can stick to the sidewall of the back inside it further enhances another versatility side of it because all these are slightly different i mean i have another pouch the thing here, you have some of these elastic bands here, which can hold cables and AirPods and all the other gadgets that you may want to hold and stay secure inside the bag, doesn't roll around as such. Fantastic. So if you want to take uh, the bag as half and half, for instance, if you want to have just one camera, a couple of lenses, and leave the other half for your personal belonging, and these are fantastic stuff. You can just put it, stick it on the side to hold something that you really want to protect and also make it organized um, so you don't have to look for it uh, when the time comes. I, I, I'm loose work in terms of configurability of this bag and the expandability, uh, the versatility. I, I'm just over the moon with these things in terms of design. I mean, I've seen lots and lots of bags and this is the first time I would say that this is probably the most versatile camera bag I've ever seen. So overall, I rate this bag very highly. And in fact, like I mentioned in a couple of videos before, <laughs> I may have fallen in love with Walton Craft bag, more so than Dolk, uh, Domka bag, more so than Peak Design bag, more than PGY tag, you know, and this is personal opinion. You know, I, I'm not saying objectively they, they're all brilliant bags, to be honest. But to me, this bag does have a lot of things that 
trumps over all the other bats I've seen or review even used in the past, uh, such as the expandability that I just mentioned, the versatility, um, the build quality is definitely right up there with all the best bags out there, uh, and the look, and the look is gorgeous, right? It's just being a little bit old school and with some modern touches, so I kind of we really enjoy using this bag a lot. Um, the, so this is currently, I think, the, the biggest shoulder bag they have done so far. This is the 10 liter, but I think it's really good enough for my use. They have other bags I may uh, have a chance to review, such as the, uh, uh, the backpacks. Um, I know they do uh, a new ha have a new one that is quite big, uh, the City Explorer. I think that's probably quite good to review. Um, the, but yeah, overall, in terms of shoulder bag, gosh, this, is, this has to be one of the best out there. And in terms of you know, my, my take on this compared to Billingham, because I know some of you actually asked that question in my previous video, is that, well, they are very different things. And uh, I still love my Billingham, you know, it's going to be kind of my lifelong companion there. And uh, even collections, because I've been like, collecting the, len uh, the, the lenses, well, I'm calling them the, the bags. They have like lots of lovely colors, lovely styles, and the craftsmanship is really out of this world. But if I use a metaphor, if I use a, a, an example, Think of the Billingham as like the old school film SLR, like analog SLR, like the OM1, yeah, the film OM1. Classic, build quality, supreme, nice looking, functional, does the job well, protects it, everything good. And think of the Walton Craft as like the modern OM1. Lots of features, either computational, versatility, ruggedness. It, it is the more modern bag for modern digital photographers. The, the stuff that you can create with this guy here to configure to your liking is it's unbelievable. It's simply unbelievable. It's so versatile that I, I just simply can't think of another example this, that can do exactly what Walton Craft has done. And it's just crazy. This is really, really crazy. Not only they make camera bag, but they now expand it to other things, such as bike accessories and things. They have a ton of stuff. But things that I like, which they also sent me for review, is this. And uh, they also have camera strap, leather camera strap, which I really, really like. The camera strap is fantastic. I like it. And uh, definitely old school looking and fit into my whole retro well at this time and uh it's really cool so i can fit this step onto any of my cameras here and they just look the part and uh, they have all sorts of combination all sorts of colors and even doing embossing as well so if you want to emboss your initials on the trap hey this is just this is, cool right anyway so this is my take on the walton craft uh, uh camera bag the pilot 10 liter and uh yeah it's it's definitely one of the best, if not the best, shoulder bag for modern digital photographers out there. And uh, I, I really dig this. And I uh, hope you guys do as well. So if you want to check them out, I have a link in the description so you can yeah click on it. Yeah, pretty cool, right? <laughs> anyway, until next time, I'll see you in another episode of Tech Tuesdays and Two Minutes Review. Although I've gone way over that like last time or the any other times I've done so far. <laughs> I guarantee that one day I'll have another, I will definitely have a two minutes review. I guarantee that because there will be something that I definitely can't talk over two minutes. Anyway, I'm talking too much. <laughs> Until next time, I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now. Peace. Welcome to the bonus section. And yes, I really enjoy this bag. I love it. And uh, yeah, it, this could be my new love. I wouldn't say that it will replace my Billingham. And uh, my passion and my love towards Billingham is a rival. And uh, it's going to be there. But this could be the new additional love. Um, I hope that I'm not going to start collecting Walton Craft back as well. And <laughs> if I do, I'll be in trouble. But they, they have made good stuff. I like this. I like this a lot. And uh, the only thing I would say that is the waterproofness. And uh, because I will need to test it in a very heavy situation to see that whether it does protect my gear uh, as well as Billingham, because Billingham, I've known them for years. I know that they will protect my gear even in heavy downpour situation. Uh, it's just the way to construct the canvases in you know, the layer that I have there is it's just phenomenal. And that is something that I don't think I've seen anybody has done that so far. They always have to rely on a raincoat to have that full 100% waterproofness. And uh, this one doesn't have a rain cover, like I mentioned. So uh, I just hope that it, it will, you know, if it does, really, this could be the bag, you know, for, for 
you know, lots of different usage and uh, definitely for modern digital photographers because most of our digital gears these days, not necessarily cameras, but other gadgets that, that are not waterproof. So having a bag that can carry all those without having to worry about the elements is fantastic. And also, if you like this series, remember, uh, I have a oh, lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to review, and I'm pretty sure you're going to see some interesting stuff as well. My next bag is going to be something slightly different, slightly cheaper, perhaps. And, uh, you know, because Walton Craft is still cheaper than building in bags, and uh, but it's definitely not a budget option considering the build and the quality and things like that. But if you want something slightly more affordable, and how about this? Oh, this is the Manfrotto tow bag convertible. It's actually a pretty cool bag, and this is cheap. This is really cheap. Under £100, but high quality. Have the brand name, the, the Manfrotto, and the very interesting, very interesting and kind of more like a city bag. It has a little compartment in the back here for photographic gear and a little section on top for, uh, for personal belongings. So this is a very good option if you want to go for minimalistic, go again, and also uh, have a little bit more room for your other stuff that you may have, like jackets and your milk bottles and things like that. Yeah, that, that is a very good one. So I, I'm going to review this back at some point, and uh, and I've been using that actually for two months now. <laughs> Imagine that uh, when I'm going out with the family. So this is a very cool option if you want to just go out with family, you know, just want to hold just a little bit more than camera gear. Yeah, that may be quite good. But most importantly, that is very affordable. That's the main reason that I think that bag could appeal to a lot of people, especially ones who just want to uh, have a bag you know, have a decent bag, uh, maybe some stylish bag that you can hold around the city and uh, while carrying not only just the camera, but also a couple of other stuff as well. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, remember, yeah, give me a thumb here, share my words and uh, yeah, talk about this series, talk about the Hack Tuesday. And uh, remember, stay tuned in upcoming videos and also, yeah, come back again and check out other videos I've done for this particular channel here. So until next time, I'll see you all very soon. Keep shooting, keep stay creative, keep stay creative, keep, no, stay creative, <laughs> keep shooting. Okay, until next time, bye for now, peace.